Hi everyone, it's Teresa with High Mesa Standards and today is face shaving day. Should have been at four weeks. They are now almost six weeks. On Tuesday, they'll be six weeks, which is only like four or five days away. Um, and so we're going to reveal what their true colors are gonna be. Now, with the sables with the melanistic mask, they might still be black on their nose, but what you're looking for is the color that's on the light color. That's what the color of their spots will probably clear to and um, what they will probably look like when they're older. So we're gonna shave their faces. This is something that poodles get on a regular basis. So we wanna make sure that they're used to that. I've already been taking the razor and rubbing it around on them just to get them used to the sound again, as always. And then, um, just so anybody who's asking, I'm using a Bravura Lithium 5-in-1, which means it has five different blades in one. I'm gonna move it to the 10, or away from the face uh, a little ways. We don't wanna do it on a 30 or 40 at this, or even a 15 at this point, because they're just got you know new skin, and it will get razor burn, and so you don't wanna really do that. But, um, so, Today, um, with the start of this, I will uh, kind of do an orientation to begin with for you guys and let you know that um, when we're shaving faces on puppies, we can expect them to uh, wiggle around a lot or be scared stiff straight, like not move at all. He's scared right now. So he's like, what are we doing up here? Why are we doing it? Why are you talking so loud? I'm sorry, buddy. And um, we wanna also make sure that the surface that they're standing on is clean and also skid free. So we don't want their first um, um, experience with the grooming table to be a scary one. Sorry, I'm wiggling everything. But um, we want it to be a pleasant one. We want him to have fun and we want him to know that he gets a lot of attention on the grooming table. And so that is, uh, that's how we do it. So we are gonna take Tulum. This is our red collar boy. He is a sable. He's a red sable. He's got a lot of red underneath all that. And we are going to very carefully shave his face. I'm not gonna talk while I'm shaving it so that um, I can pay attention to what I'm doing. So I'm gonna bring you in close. And the other ones, um, I won't do such an introduction. So this is the first of the litter and so I'm just showing people who are trying to do this also with their litters that this is how they would do it. So what we're gonna do is we take the razor in from the corner of the eye in the middle and down, and we just do it real quickly like that so that they don't get too scared. We don't touch their face real heavily. We don't, we don't make any kind of uh, scary moves. We're just gonna do it get in and get out. So you can see how light and beautiful his face is right now. Look at that beautiful red face. Yes, what a good boy. And he doesn't seem to be too scared. He's a little cautious, but he's not really scared. He's just like, what are you doing? And then you can see how his melanistic mask is moving. Now I'm stretching his face so that we don't catch anything like uh, his little whisker, like his little mouth nodules right there. We don't want to catch that in the uh, clippers because they will not really appreciate you too much if you've done that before and then they won't be happy with you anymore. So there we got that side of the face. Yeah. And then I'm going to take his ear up and I'm not going to squeeze his face too hard because we don't want him to feel like he's being trapped. But we're going to go back to the back of his ear. We're gonna go that way so that we don't catch anything going this way. Um, when you get better at that, at using a razor, or if you're not so good at using the razor right now, you don't wanna do that probably um, too close to anything anything in the ear because you'll cut it off and you make them bleed. And then they don't trust you anymore. And when they don't trust you, it's a very sad thing. We don't want that on our first experience. So he is doing really good. And I'm gonna go to his other side of his face. 
Good job. We're going to tell him how good he is. He doesn't seem to be too affected at this by this at all. So I'm just going to keep doing really short spurts like this so it doesn't feel like it's hurting him or scraping him. And I'm not getting really close to his skin. Let's try his lips. That's always one that bothers them. I'm going to bring it up here. There. Good job. Good job, buddy. Right there. <laughs> and it's really hard when you're when they're wiggling to get them I mean it's much easier to cut them so we we definitely want to get them used to this so that they're not running away from it a little bit of wiggles okay but if they are running and backing off like they did with the plastic bottle can you imagine how hard that would be with a sharp instrument in your hand to keep from cutting them so that is why we do a lot of the pre-work um, with the razor and the toothbrush so that they are not threatened by it and they're not gonna back away from you really quick. Some of them still will, but we're trying to keep that from happening. So I'm gonna stretch his face here, move it up. There we go, good job. I don't see a lot of nervous itching, licking, uh, yawning. He's actually doing really good. So there is, let's just do his chin real quick. I'm gonna do underneath. We're not gonna catch his skin in it if we can keep from it like that. We don't wanna do that. So you wanna stretch their neck up pretty high and they don't really love that. So do what they'll let you do and then let it go. Okay, so here we go. This is Tulum. <laughs> Look at his pretty face. And that's the color that his spots are gonna more, like, more than likely fade out to be, right there. So, he is our red sable, red collar, male Tulum.